Na 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 Hey Michelle, I got your next appointment. <laughs> If anybody is curious, I'm going to blur this out. She's got a really big, it's either a cyst or a tumor or something that's on her eye. And I'm going to blur out her eye so that it's not gross. But she's really sweet. Hi. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Oh, so this here is her. She, she is drooling right now. She is a senior Newfoundland. She's nine years old. We're going to do the best that she can do today. She needs a full D shed. Some of her legs have a little matting in there and that's fine, but she is gorgeous. She is great. And we're, let's continue. That's going to be all hands on deck. So this here is undercoat. Oh, yeah. And this will come out in the tub. It looks like it's matting, but this is really just a D shed that really has got to get blown out. So there's spots in here I have to take out. She's going to be on the shorter side anyway. I do have to take a lot of this off. This is all matting. You see how this sticks together? Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. It's just... So it's stuck together and it's not coming apart, so that's technically matting. And you don't want to, you don't want to brush out matting. But some of this is undercoat D shed as well. We're gonna do the best that we can, baby girl. If you know what you're doing, you just you feel out for knots. Like in here, this feels like it would be knots, but it's really undercoat. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you see how it, it yeah. appears, Yeah. but like that's undercoat. So this here, see how I can't pull it apart? This is matting. See all that? And you can't, no. can't pull it apart. Nice. Sometimes you can't get your dog in for grooming. Sometimes the money's not there. Um, it's very expensive for this size. So the owners know that I do see all this. The owners do know that I do have to take this shorter. So I'm using a 10 for her, for her belly because her belly is matted. And I'm not scooping, pulling, um, squeezing, not doing anything. I'm taking it little by little because the matting and her belly is gonna be, I almost have it. Oh my gosh, give me one big piece of that. It, yep, it all sticks together. Look at that. But like I said, some owners either don't have the time or they don't have the money. And this is a really, this type of breed um, is wonderful breed. Some sections. Some sections I have to shave, the others I'm gonna wash and blow dry. And I'll show you. Emmy, good. can you do me a favor? Keep her stable, because I'm gonna... Uh, good question, the paper is right next to Christine. She's gonna need probably about three baths, so we're gonna be here for we'll be here for a while. For a little bit, five minutes. Yeah, but it's got a scent to it. They don't want too much of a scent. What do you think for scent wise? Is that decent? Very light. I got a cleaner first. That's why I was saying filthy beast because it's. 
It's it's smelly. The lady didn't want it to smell like uh, smell like perfuming, perfuming or cologne. That filthy bee smells like the the old ribbon candy that old people have. Oh, yeah, like that hard candy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Don't go outside for the fire truck. Yeah, the fire truck will get it done. <laughs> you might just take the gallon and just dump it right on her. <laughs> when it's a big dog, I just take the thing. Yep, that's what I do. <laughs> but this is a lot of fun. Emmy, I'm glad you talked me into doing this. This is Michelle. <laughs> so this here is Hershey, and she got her full grooming today. She's on the older side, so we did as much as she, her body can do. So I will see you guys next week.